It will be the Wokingham number four, Louis Isaacs. 20th minute, free kick. Can he put his team ahead? He can! Outstanding set piece. That was absolutely tremendous from Louis Isaacs. The first goal of this ESFA Schools Sunday at Stoke City. And that was truly stunning. Louis Isaacs take a bow. The free kick was won by the trickery of Kaysen Batsy. The number four took aim. He's done well to get a hand to it as Isaac Clinton in the Liverpool goal, but he couldn't claw it away to safety. The deadlock find the corner. And now here come Wokingham looking for number two. Great save at the near post, and then it's against the upright. So, so close for Wokingham to a second goal on the stroke of half time. Couldn't really have been closer. First save was made, now it's up the other end. Oh, how often does that happen in football? Wokingham had a great chance to score, but Liverpool have equalised. And a really good hit as well. Right into the corner. Craig Barrett with the leveller for Liverpool. Just after Wokingham had forced a save from the keeper and hit the upright, it came through for Barrett, who kept his composure and just crashed it low and true. And that is a big, big goal for Liverpool. They've shown tremendous character. Scope waiting for the ball. It doesn't come his way, though. Betsy competing. Fired away by Price. And now Haylett for Wokingham. Betsy goes down, referee gives a penalty. He was just too slippery there, was Case and Betsy. So lively, always a threat to the opposition. Went down, and the referee, Alexander Cook, immediately blew his whistle and pointed to the spot. And this is a huge moment now. He's already scored from a free kick. Here we go then, penalty for Woking, and will they retake the lead? They most certainly will. Louis Isaacs with yet another penalty for Wokingham. His second goal of the game, he hammered one in from a free kick in the first half. In the second, he makes it 10 successful spot kicks out of 12 attempts this season. Louis Isaacs has been brilliant in this game from the dead ball scenarios. Josh Kelly, the Liverpool number nine, hits it, oh, that's absolutely sensational. What a goal from Josh Kelly. Well, if this was BGT, that would be a golden buzzer moment. Absolutely stunning. And what a celebration. It's 2-2 and we're set for penalties. They've hit back for a second time, and that was just class from Kelly. He's had a really good game, and that puts the icing on the cake for him. He's just launched it into the corner. No chance for even Barnes in the Wokingham goal. The referee has his whistle to his lips. There it goes. You can't separate them. 2-2, Two -two and it's going to penalties. Here he goes then to start the shootout. Wokingham's hero, but he can't score. Massive moment. The first team who misses, they go on to win it. What are Liverpool going to do? They score. Advantage Liverpool. Now it's with Betsy. Rolls it in. Outstanding pen. Now it's with Liverpool. Wide. Woking and believe now. No scope. Well, it really is swinging one way, then the other. This penalty shootout. And Josh Kelly. Oh, what have Wokingham got up their sleeve here? 
huge save. But is the referee saying it, they need to retake the penalty? Has to be retaken. The initial one was saved. How's he going to fare with this one? Oh, and he's dragged that wide. Well, he had two bites at it. Through Ashton Arbanufe. Drills it in. Woodward, the captain, with his right boots. He struck both posts. Can you believe it? It's Liverpool who win the penalty shootout by three goals to two. The keeper is surrounded by the outfield players. They're in jubilant mood in the Stoke sunshine. Liverpool, who came back twice during the game, showed real tenacity and spirit. And they win the under-11, nine versus nine district cup in thrilling circumstances. What a penalty shootout that was. The final pen hit both posts. Here it is then, a chance to get the hands on the trophy for Harry Hawkins, the captain. Liverpool are the winners of the ESFA under 11, nine versus nine, District Cup for 2024. Celebration time, wonderful moment for them. 2-2, they won on penalties. They're having a fantastic day at Stoke City FC. They shone, they succeeded, they won the cup.